Hello YouTube, Make Mine Marvel here with a another review for the Sideshow Premium Format Storm. This is the white uh, exclusive variant costume. This had an edition size of 150 and this came out after um, the black Storm Premium Format uh, did. Now this Storm Premium Format is a quarter scale statue uh, with mixed media. It's um, The mixed media is the cape and the rest of the statue is fully sculpted. Now I purchased this statue from my good friend Dean, Bedan Dean Bedanza. He is also Statue Hunter 75 on the YouTube channel. Um, he had this in his collection for a while and uh, he had or he had both the black and the white version uh, of this and uh, so he was willing to sell me the white version. Um, this statue was on the fence for a while on it. I liked it, but I don't know, something about it was making me hesitant to purchase it. And uh, I realized after, you know, I saw it, uh, you know, up close and personal in his collection and got to, uh, and got to look it over real well that, you know, it is in a great statue, um, really nice sculpt and paint apps and everything. Um, so, uh, so I went ahead and purchased it from him. Um, and then when I got it home, I finally really fell in love with the piece when I was able to really play with the cape. Uh, and, uh, and for me, that changed the statue around. It, it, this cape is a little awkward. It's not exactly comic book accurate, the way the cape's supposed to be, uh, you know, attached to her in the comic books. Not only is it, you know, it, uh, up around her <clears throat> her shoulders and neck like that but also the you know the part of the cape down here is attached to her wrist up here you know same thing same thing on the other hand um, which gives you know in the comic books it gives uh, the cape a little bit different way it flowed so I was finally able to play around with the cape and shape it the way I liked it took a while this wire in it is real thick um, which allows you to bend it and position it any way you want. But, you know, I finally got it the way I liked it. I had this, you know, going into her hand here, um, like she's holding it and kind of pushing it back. Um, and, uh, and you know, this one draped over her shoulder, kind of flowing down here. So I think before, you know, the whole, I, most of the pictures I see the cape, uh, you know, fully extended or something like that. And I just, it was awkward. It, it looked weird. Um, but now that I got to play around with it, I realized that how much more I actually liked it than I thought I did. Uh, also, you can display the statue without the cape at all. And she looks great without the cape, you know, too. Um, you get to see more of the sculpt. So uh, Dean did it did do a really good job of reviewing this on his channel as well, if you want to check that out. Um, yeah, the, you know, it's painted real nice. Her hair's got nice shading and, uh, and detail in it uh, with a little bit of black and gray shading inside there. This one comes with only the one head. Um, it doesn't come with the head that the black exclusive came with. Um, which is a shame, you know, if they're going to do a variant with the exclusive, it should come with all the parts of the original exclusive as well. Uh, they started doing that now with their newer variants, like the uh, Black Widow White Edition. Comes with a couple switch-out hands for the, the front of the statue, or the, the forward-facing hand, her right hand. I like this hand a little bit better. This is how I'm going to have it displayed, and uh, I'll pause it and show you the other hand. So this is the other hand here. Um... I think this hand goes better with the exclusive head that comes with you know the the black suit statue with the uh, the whited out eyes and the and her hair that's more being swept up by the wind and the lightning. Um, this hand you can also position it either like this, or you can actually turn it upside down, and it fits in both ways. Uh, you know, either as kind of like she's raising up. Uh, the weather, or you know, the other way, maybe it looks like she's using lightning or something. Like I said, I like the other hand a little bit better. Um, it looks a little more graceful to me, and uh, I think it displays better with, with the face sculpt that I have on her now.
Bass is pretty simple, rock bass. Um, it's painted well, sculpted well. What really gives it a little bit of nice accent are these purple flowers on it uh, and the pink there too. It's just enough color and accent to, uh, you know, kind of show something about Storm's character. Her, you know, her being in tune with nature. Um, she always had the flowers in the greenhouse in the X Mansion. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice, subtle hint to her personality. Give a close-up of the face. I would have liked them to do the eyes a more uh, more sharper, brighter blue. Um, that's something about Storm that she's always had in the comic books is that her her blue eyes were you know really really blue and they really stood out the way most artists drew her. Um, these are blue, but they're they're more dull or I don't know they just they don't stand out as much. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.